sealants sound like such a good idea, but do they actually prevent cavities? And what's worse, could they cause more harm to the teeth and to your gut and body health? I'm Dr. Ellie, and today I'm going to talk about those thin plastic coatings that are put on teeth, particularly children's teeth, and are called sealants. Now, I was at the university where sealants were first developed. So, of course, I was really enthusiastic about sealants in the 1980s. The problem with teeth, we believe, especially children's teeth, is that they sometimes have really deep grooves in their biting surfaces. And they are very prone to decay in the grooves, in the crisscross fissures, as they're called, in the biting surfaces. It seems like such a good idea to cover those grooves and seal them off with this thin plastic coating. The problem is that decay is really an infection. We know, for example, that in our mouths are hundreds of kinds of good bacteria. And these good bacteria, they float in our saliva, they land on teeth, they live in our mouths. Up to 900 different kinds were found in the Human Microbiome Project of 2007. And we know that you don't want to do scorch earth tactics and get rid of these bacteria. Some of them are incredibly useful to us. So when I started writing a book called Kiss Your Dentist Goodbye, I began linking the world of xylitol with the world of sealants. And I began to realize that if we could get rid of the bacteria that cause cavities in the grooves with xylitol, then these sealants wouldn't be necessary. You see, xylitol is able to change the bacteria in your mouth to get rid of the harmful ones and promote the healthy ones. Then, the first bacteria to land in these grooves are going to be healthy ones. In fact, by allowing that to happen, we will have a fountain of good bacteria in the mouth. So this is why I am such an enthusiast about xylitol, using it early in life, getting to the point where children no longer need to have sealants put on their teeth to protect them. They don't need protection. When I was writing Kiss Your Dentist Goodbye, I was looking at the studies, looking at the healthy bacteria that exist in our mouths, thinking about the way in Finland, for over 60 years now, they have used xylitol in preschool. They give children in preschool enough xylitol every day to actually make sure that they are nurturing and feeding good bacteria in a child's mouth before the adult teeth erupt, before they come into the mouth. And they have discovered that this gives children the very best chance of having no cavities. So what's actually occurring when a child's mouth is young, it's healthy, it's full of healthy bacteria, and in pops a new tooth with deep grooves? Guess what? The saliva carrying bacteria goes into those deep grooves and if those bacteria are healthy ones, not harmful plaque forming ones, but healthy ones because the mouth has been prepared, then you don't have to worry about decay. In actual fact, we know that the first bacteria in a groove will become dominant, gets a foothold, and that little groove is almost like a fountain of good bacteria in the mouth for years, possibly for life. So we don't want to seal up grooves in a healthy child's mouth. If you are sure you have healthy bacteria, that's one thing, and you can do a test to see if the saliva contains plaque forming bacteria, and the way to deal with them is xylitol. Little bits of xylitol throughout the day, wanting to have somewhere between three and six grams for a young child, and then you can be sure that the bacteria going into those grooves is healthy. What is my biggest concern, truly and honestly, and something I think we should study, is that by sealing away these healthy bacteria, we don't give them a foothold, that child may lose the potential to digest gluten. How does that relate? Well, we know that the first process of gluten digestion occurs in the mouth, and it is in the saliva that gluten is broken down into the simplest sugars. 
Part of that involves enzymes and possibly from bacteria that might well be the ones supposed to be in those groups. The only way we could possibly tell is to do a study looking at the children who've had sealants done and their digestive health maybe 10 years later, compared with children who have not had sealants, who have perfect, pristine teeth and healthy mouths. So before you have sealants done on your children's teeth, I would recommend asking if you could delay, if perhaps you could use xylitol, perhaps you could use mouth rinses. I recommend a dilute, a very dilute fluoride mouth rinse as a child is six years old when these new teeth are coming in to protect them, to strengthen them, to give them every chance of not decaying because they are teeth that rapidly decay. But do it in such a way that you protect the teeth, but you also protect the bacterial community that we are trying to develop in our children's mouths. Now this also would be relevant to adults. If you have grooves in your teeth and a dentist is just recommending for no real reason that you should have those teeth sealed or filled and you have an opportunity to delay, to use my strategies, it would be the same in an adult. I personally am a no longer a fan. I cannot see many occasions, perhaps there are a few, but in most cases I would not any longer recommend, particularly in pediatric dentistry, doing sealants. So if you'd like to learn more about promoting healthy bacteria in your mouth, the use of xylitol and the other products that I recommend, I have a website with lots of information and good blogs at drellie.com.